gonna read the Capricorn and I'm gonna concentrate on the month of April uh, if you don't know what sign you have or <laughs> if you are a Capricorn then you need to be for me born between December 22 and January 21 so are you born in those uh, in that period you are a Capricorn for me and that's the energy I'm concentrating on and that's the energy I want to read for April I'm gonna read first your love life. So if you're interested about love, first people who are in committed relationships. Let's check. I'm seeing that old wounds will be touched again. It's like, yeah, things happen. And of course, when we're in a committed relationship or pains that we bring in that relationship are easily, um, yeah, forgotten, you know, when life is good and everything. But I'm seeing that spirits will challenge you. Maybe your spouse, spouse will yeah, touch you on that area to tell you you still need to heal or something will happen from outside into the relationship. Be aware of people maybe lying, cheating, seeding. That's your pain still that you need to work on. So don't fill in the blanks. Sometimes that's just a very easy explanation. It's like there are some trust issues. and to move that relationship further and to make it a long-term big success is looking in the mirror you know try seeing what an asset you are and then people when they cheat it's their problem it's not yours and from that energy you will be released of a pain and a scaredness and a way of acting in some relationship scared of showing you who you are and that person will think you're the devil so stop playing a role start being yourself you're beautiful you playing a role will bring the opposite effect they like who you are they fell for you they connected to you they committed to you for an energy and they're waiting when that will come out if you need some help from them to make it come out don't blame them but tell them i have a plan this is what i want this is what i want to work on so make that relationship more successful and be more open and committed in that relationship I'm sure that your spouse will be very happy to hear that news and that you came to that conclusion because they don't dare telling you. <laughs> if you are looking for love, let's check. If you are looking for love, what will bring April for you? Okay, it's very important to make it a big thing, you know? It's like it's not gonna come knocking at your door. I'm so sorry, the ones who did, they are the ones that will leave and just want a quick romance or just think you are really cute and they are attracted to you but they don't want anything more because they're not in that life path don't be aware of that um, you need to find it yourself so make a plan how where to be with whom you want to be if you're scared of doing that by yourself then find some people in the past that are sure will put you in the right light eh? and otherwise don't connect if you don't want to get hurt so if you're just in a breakup let's check breakup it's important to reanalyze the relationship you can blame the other party what i'm seeing and i understand but you were there as well and they didn't come sour from one day to the other or if you are the one who did bad you didn't do it by yourself you were you felt so isolated and you needed like a wake-up call so don't blame yourself but use it as a moment to like connect back to your inner self and find out what the real problem is and everybody has a part in it you know everybody does and once you know that you can just put it to bed and then you have two options in this situation you can reconnect with the person you hurt or the person that hurt you and find out with this new viewpoint if you can move forward in the future or you can go and check what's out there for you so work 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 but you have the power in april to do that okay so good luck when we go to finances let's see you can record what will bring finances if you're in a committed job nothing special will happen i'm seeing that everything that was told that or promised will, will be okay it's actually the time to protect yourself because i'm seeing some problems in the future coming up and I don't know why I think it's the company who's getting problems or some disbalance or like merges what I'm feeling where you all are so if you want to keep that job and don't have nightmares protect what you're doing make yourself really important so 
let the world know what you're doing, who you are. Even if you don't like to brag, it's time to brag because then people will always uh, choose you. And if you don't brag and you are like not noticeable, you'll be the first one out. So be aware of that, okay? So new way of moving forward financially. If you have a own business, let's check very important to have everything under control no everything everything i'm seeing some jealousy coming out so maybe show some charity or something put yourself like in a new image very important because if a jealousy hits and you are like not a charitable person it could harm your company and then so it's important to do charity if you're in a charity world don't worry you're the best in that capricorns you can do charity because yeah, you have this sense of knowing what to put in the light, what people want to connect with. So try changing your business plan or your commercial plan and put some aspects in that. That would really help you out. If you're studying for a job that you will do later, let's see what's going on. Okay, keep believing that you can because often studies are not what you actually gonna do when you are doing that job but you need it hard work will be really really like abundance on hard work it will be like a gift gifted to you you're not seeing anything now but do so try to put the hours in try to connect with people who have more knowledge about you you'll see they will want to help even people you don't know just send them an email i feel like you don't dare to connect with those people do so because you know knowing more from people who are actually doing that job and are amazing in that will bring a lot of abundance it will give you more like energy to move forward and to finish that study successfully and get a good job later and maybe you'll get a job or a new company with a person that you connected while you were studying so Health. I'm not a doctor, of course, Capricorn. Let's check health. What's coming in for health? Oops. Emotionally, we're very uh, not very stable this month. It's for sure when we have financial issues, difficulties, not when the abundance is coming. Um, spirits are saying with some months we just need to move forward and and have trust in the divine that they will protect us. They did it in our past. Also, don't tell everybody where you are on money-related issues because that's a weakness for some people that they will like show they care and use it as a dagger in your back later because you're gonna make it and you're gonna be successful and that's gonna come at more the end of the year and then they get jealous and they can use these stories so it's like the last dip so stay emotionally positive that's the way to get that abundance on the end of the year um, isolate yourself if you have no control over your emotions because you can make more damage than uh, <laughs> and then you have to fix it all um, but be real with people you trust 100% and people who love you 100% so others you just show a different side Don't be a warrior okay um, advice advice yeah it's the months of looking at yourself in the mirror knowing what, what you are putting all this effort in and stop worrying it's like you're very and that's the emotional part of what i've felt in the health part you know if some things off just be beautiful just act as you control and it's like the story fake it till you make it and that's possible just put that energy on a post-it and pin it somewhere and think may i'll pick up to on it again and then you'll be fine because worries will attract worries so if you have a worry write it down in a book or post on a post-it and stick it somewhere and you'll revisit it later but not in april and i'm sasha i'm a professional psychic i doing this work more than 20 years only on tiktok and youtube every weekday i'm live at 11 a.m ct time um if you are there, that's the place where I do mini reads. That's the only place. So if you want free mini reads, please, you're very welcome to join. Please tap my screen uh, for a like. Please subscribe. Please ring the bell. Please follow me so you know when I'm live and you're very welcome to join. Also, during those readings, you can have a more yeah, 
a profound reading for a small donation. If you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with me, that's possible, or a pre-record, please check out my website, mediumsasha.com, for all options. And I hope to see you soon, and otherwise I'll see you in May. And otherwise, just have a great 2020.